Hi guys, and welcome back to Cebu Life. Today we are on our way to Strawberry de Cantipla Echo Farm in I think it's still in Busay. It's just um, a few minutes after 21 kilometers coffee. Now, uh, if you haven't seen our video about 21 kilometers coffee, you can click on the link here or the link on the description below. We are actually 38 minutes away. away so um, it's a gloomy Sunday, which is good because um, Strawberry de Cantipla Eco Farm is an open area. Yeah, it's a strawberry plantation. Outdoor, yeah, yeah, it's outdoor, so uh, at least we won't get any sunburn. Right. Yeah. See you guys there. Hi guys, so we just arrived here at Strawberry de Cantipla Echo Farm. They're 38 kilometers from JY Square, a few kilometers after 21, 21 kilometers, kilometers coffee. coffee. Yeah, and yeah, this is it. Uh, we're gonna show you what the place looks like. And what they offer. The yeah, and what they offer. Also, if you're on your way to Busai, they're on the left side of the road. They have parking spaces available yeah. as well. They have enough parking for a number of cars and motorcycles. There's a strawberry. <laughs> strawberry. So hi guys, we're now here at Bagyo. No, we're in Busai, Cebu, at the okay. strawberry the Cantipla Echo Farm. They have a, a an area there shaped like a heart where you can take your Instagram photo. There is a a canteen or a restaurant near the entrance and you don't have to pay the entrance fee uh, if you just want to eat there but if you want to get inside this farm it's 50 pesos entrance fee per head for adults and you get to, to get inside and experience this view top of the tree house that's the the heart there that's the strawberry plantation or strawberry farm and then this is the tree house <laughs> so it's got a view of the entire farm as well as the the road and that's a restaurant yeah small restaurant we're gonna try their food later they are selling and I don't know, ice Burgers, cream. Burger, ice cream, yeah. shake. strawberry shake. Yeah, definitely pancake. we're gonna pancake. Yeah, definitely we're gonna try those out later. And again, um, 
to enter the farm, you'd have to pay 50 pesos per head for adults. But if you're only gonna stay at the farm, which is or, or the restaurant, which is uh, beside the entrance, then you don't have to pay the entrance fee if you only wanna eat there. So here are a couple of things that you can do here while you're here at the strawberry echo farm and of course number one you can eat uh, they have a lot of different food choices also like, um, you can enter the farm where you can buy flowers or plants and of course the main reason for coming here is actually to take some pictures and they've got different areas where you can take pictures they have this tree house they have a very big strawberry there Perfect for your Instagram photos. Mm, wow, it's, it's very delicious. Mm. Is it pretty? It's very creamy and strawberry. <laughs> Sun's going down. <laughs> okay, so it's now 5.30 in the afternoon and the sun's going down. So we're ready to head back home oh. now. And yeah, overall it was an okay experience. There are definitely a lot of areas where if you're interested you can take good pictures. Uh, we only took a few. And uh, we tried their their strawberry shake, shake, which I find very delicious. It's actually very creamy, and uh, I believe that the strawberries are fresh. And this is uh, seventy pesos. Seventy pesos, yes. It's you know small, <laughs> but it's delicious. Um, if you have nothing to do, and if you wanna try their delicious strawberry shake you might want to visit them they're in busai just 38 minutes from jy square see you guys on our next video